Okay, so here is another of Lindy's techniques. This is just a piece of paper, like uh, copy paper, that has burnt umber, which is a moon shadow spray that's been sprayed. And then we used a heat gun to heat it, which then gave it kind of some textury blobs. And mom loved to take it, crinkle it up. I have boxes full of paper like this. I know she, it's one of her favorites. She likes to really get it crinkled. Then you kind of, you, you flatten it out, but not all the way, because what you're going to do then, is you're going to run that, oh gosh, that's a dirty version mark pad. <laughs> anyway, you're just going to kind of rub it over the highlights. And then, my fancy dancy piece of paper, let's see what color I want to do, maybe copper. Then you just kind of sprinkle it over the top. Obviously, it's going to stick to any of the places. Move that paper out of the way. Stick to anything that was um, hit by the first mark pad. Lots of um, sorry. And then you're going to heat it up. And now you've gone from a cool paper that I would love to use to a super cool piece of paper. That has coppery highlights. You could, I mean, the world is your oyster. You pick the colors. And I, another Lindy favorite. This is something called fusible webbing. We used to sell it. I apologize we don't, but you can find it in your sewing department. It is double sided, like hem tape, or it's used in, I think, quilting. Um, so it will melt. You can use an iron and have two pieces of fabric, and it'll do it. But what she liked to do is take it with your heat gun, and that's just a tag, nothing's on the tag, and you kind of start melting it, it gets kind of lacy. She used to call this moon lace. So you can see as I heat up that fusible webbing, it kind of starts melting. I'm gonna move this extra stuff out of the way. Heat it up a little bit more, and then you guessed it, I'm going to dump some embossing powder on that. It's nice and hot. Go back and use our copper since I have it sitting here. So you can see as I'm heating it that that copper that I put on there is melting and making a cool lacy pattern kind of random and then i'm kind of a sucker because i like it extra i'm going to put a little more powder on it so you can see it started to stick to the paper a little bit because the paper was hot but for me i don't i don't care i like it like that So you can use it as is. Look how pretty that is with the copper. Think of that with even if you sprinkled a couple other colors on there. Um, but you can also then use it and pull out a spray really quick. Grab a guy gold. And then when you go over the top, it creates a resist. So the embossing powder stays right where it's supposed to. I mean, obviously, if you don't touch it, it's going to stay exactly where you had it, even though you've reheated it. Now I'm gonna take a tag, and you can see I've got Grab A Guy Gold that I've sprayed here, and I'm gonna spray him again, just kinda, if you just depress a little bit, he'll make blobbies. And then, you guessed it, I am going to, let's see what color do I wanna do. I am gonna put embossing powder over him. And then he will, it will stick just to those bigger wet blocks and then I can heat them up and there she goes look at that so all those little droplets that were grab a guy gold are now gold gold with a little grab a guy under them one last thing I want to show you not that it's the last technique because there's a gazillion that I don't even know about I'm gonna stamp this big solid stamp here. 
And there's this funky thing that happens when we emboss him. Let me just do some silver here. I won't bore you with heating him up. Okay, so here he is. And you'll notice that I made sure to really heat him so that it would smooth out pretty nicely. If you don't heat it as long, you'll get a little more speckling, um, which looks cool too. But for this technique that I wanted to show, I wanted to have that pretty smooth so you can see it there. So I'm just going to spray over the top. The moon shadows do more of this, what we call cratering, but all of our sprays will do it. So I'm just going to use time travel teal and kind of go over the top. And you can see I've sprayed on the embossing powder. That's kind of key because then when I heat him, every one of those little bubbles or yeah, bubbles of spray actually kind of eat away at the embossing powder and leave kind of a cool texture on there after. So I'll heat this and then I'll show you. So here's the one I just did with time travel teal and silver and you can see, hopefully you can see, I keep saying you can see, hopefully you can. Um, see those little uh, raised areas and they are rough but they're super cool looking. I, I always said they look kind of like cheetah. So just imagine if you did a tag that was bigger and then did that technique over the top. This is, um, the underlying color is our gold. And then over the top I did uh, Land Lover Green, which is a moon shadow. And you can see there's even more of that pock marking on there. or I don't know what to call it, something. Texture, making texture. So. Lots of ideas to start with, but don't forget that all of the projects that are embo uh, em embossing powders, that our designers do have lots and lots of information about embossing powder.